Hey guys, so you want to tie a tie, right? I'm going to teach you the most simple knot, in my opinion, and the most kind of just straight out simple looking knot. And there's nothing lopsided or twisty or weird about it, it's just a nice little triangle with a nice little piece of tie coming out the bottom of it. And it looks nice and neat, nothing crazy. Um, it's actually very easy to tie a tie, but you have to do it a couple times so that you're good at it. Okay, so this is just a very simple, straightforward uh, tie knot. I'm going to go ahead and do it step by step, and hopefully you come out with, uh, with this making sense. So I'm going to go ahead and untie it first. So this is the final product. This is what it's going to look like. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and untie it there. Pull this out from the front. This is kind of how a tie comes apart. This comes down. Okay, so I'm going to show you kind of how to where to grab it. Okay, so when you just get a tie, match up the two ends. So you're going to grab the two tie ends, match them up, and then you let it you let them straighten out like that, and you grab the middle. Okay, so this is where you're going to have the intersection occur. So you take that, you come over to your neck, and you're going to put do exactly what I'm doing. Just grab that. Keep your fingers right where the middle is. Okay, that's the middle. And actually, depending on the length of the tie, you might have to adjust this, or depending on how big your torso is. So you might, you know, I'm going to go just a little bit below that, just because I know where, where I like my tie. Um, so we're going to grab that right there. Keep your fingers on there. Put it on your neck. Okay, so that's where I, the middle is, right there. I'm going to have the other short end or skinny end, I'm going to call it from now on, the skinny end, go under that, okay? That's the middle of the tie right here, not this, this part, the top is. I'm going to go right under there. Now, the long wide end is going to wrap under, just like that, okay? It's going to wrap right under there, just like so. Now you're going to take this part and put it up and stick it behind the, the knot that you have so far, like that. So that just came that way, okay? Now it's gonna be on this side. Make sure it doesn't come out this way. It's gonna come out this way. You can see that if you do it this way, the knot becomes weird and lopsided. If you do it this way, it looks like a nice little triangle still. So it comes out this way, then you just bring it right across the front, and this sets up. You can see that there's a good knot already right there. You just gonna have to finish it up. So you come right across the front, and then you take this and you squish it out from behind, like so. And you draw the whole thing, the whole knot, the whole tie through there. So it's up like this, okay? Now it's going to come down this way, but through here. So what you want to do is you want to loosen this up just a tad bit. Make sure it's loose like that. Take the tip of your tie. Make sure that it's not backwards. So this is the back of the tie. This is the front. And you just slip that right through there. So you hold on to this and pull that through, okay? So now what you're going to do, you're just going to give this a good little pull and make sure that it uh, gets nice and tight around here. You don't want anything too loose, but you don't want it too tight. If you have it too tight, you'll start seeing whatever is under show up on the surface. So you want it, you want it pretty loose, but not and just kind of find a good, good feel for it, okay? And then you pull that down, and there we go. So now, before you tighten it all the way, um, you're going to actually go ahead and drop your collar down just like so. And the tightening is done by this little thing in the back. So if you pull that back, you'll see that you have a short little uh, skinny end hanging back here. And you're going to pull that to tighten that whole tie around your neck. So now you can see that when you do that, it actually centers the whole thing and tightens it right around your neck. And you can move the tie around side to side, up, down, depending on how tight it is. Kind of fling that out a little bit. You can put a uh, like a, a crease in there. Some people like the crease, some people don't like the crease preference. But the last thing you want to do is once you have this all down, is you take this little skinny end on the back and you just stick it through this little loop. On the back of the big portion of the tie, the wide portion, you have these two little loops, or one on some ties. And you just take this little skinny end and you feed it through there. Uh, feed through both of them in my case. 
just like so. Okay. And once you have that there, just let it let it hang down. And uh, when you look down, you don't want the tie to be. I might have made it just a tad bit long, but you want the tie to be right about at the top of your belt buckle. So if it's right at the top of your belt buckle, that's perfect length. Uh, mine came out to be a little bit long, but it could be all right. Um, I think I'll actually retie and make it a little bit shorter. And at that point, it'll be great. So if you want to readjust the length of the tie, um, no guesswork. So in my case, I do need to readjust it a little bit. It's a little bit too long. So I need to remember how much how much it was long. So it was about that much long, right? About an inch, right? So I'm just going to really quickly undo it right up to. I put my fingers on the tie, on the knot here, so it doesn't come apart. Okay. So I come back to this point, the very first step. Okay. And if I want to make it a little bit short, I just feed a little bit of that back in, like that. Okay. So I fed about an inch of the wide portion back in there just like that kind of feed it okay and then you can do it all over real quick i'm gonna go fast this time and keep an eye on that and you'll see but now that i just fed a little bit of it back i'll have more on this end but this end will be shorter open that up stick that in okay Before you tighten, you always want to put the collar down because as soon as you put it down, it's going to get loose again. It's going to come loose if you do that. Okay, so then it's all on. It's all in there. And now if you look down, I'm going to tuck this in. Okay. Now if you look down here, you can see that. That's right at the belt buckle. Perfect length. All right, and there is <clears throat> the tie. This is called the Windsor knot, I believe. So. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, you know, first time tying a tie can be kind of frustrating. You can uh, check out my channel, and actually I'll have some links come up of my more complicated knots. If, uh, you can start with this one. You can check out the other ones. They're a lot more complicated. Actually, not that much more complicated, but they look really cool and different. And I think you'll appreciate those. So check that out. Check these links out. See what you like. Leave some comments. Ask me questions. Tell me what you think. Ask me for advice. Yeah, I don't know if I have any of that. I'll see you later, hopefully. It's been Eugene.